Well, it's been talked about for months now. Today, we got our first look at the long-awaited GOP tax plan. Today, top Republicans rolled out the details of their plan that they say is going to lower taxes for the middle class and help create American jobs. What does it mean for you and your family? Will it save you money? Blaine Alexander has the breakdown from Washington. Blaine? Well, Devin, this is something that will likely affect every single person watching right now. But keep in mind that this plan will likely undergo a number of changes if it becomes law. It's the grand GOP rollout. Top House Republicans pushing their new tax reform plan, touted as helping the middle class. This is a very important and special moment for our country, for all Americans. We will grow our economy by delivering more jobs, 90% of Americans will be able to fill out their taxes on a postcard. What exactly is in the plan? Fewer tax brackets, higher standard deduction, and a new family credit. It would also cut the corporate tax rate from 35% down to 20, preserves 401k plans, but gets rid of the state tax deductions. So what does this really mean for the middle class? Experts say it depends. Every one of these little tax breaks is going to change, and so each family will have a different uh, higher tax burden or lower tax burden, depending on what they were paying before. President Trump pushing his party to act before the holidays. We're working to give the American people a giant tax cut for Christmas. We are giving them a big, beautiful Christmas present. But some Republicans worried about the short timeline and adding an estimated $1.5 trillion to the deficit. This is something that could affect us for the next 20 to 30 years. So it's all the more reason why I think we should have more, more debate. I didn't know I was going to be given a prop. <laughs> for Republicans, that debate and the sell starting immediately, with the clock ticking down to the end of the year. And of course, this is top priority for Republicans. In fact, when the president leaves on his foreign trip tomorrow, a number of his top advisors will stay behind and try and push this through Congress and across the country. In Washington, Blaine Alexander, Local 4.